Marianne, pleasure to uh, to chat with you, and I, I want you to give us some perspective because when I say us, I'm talking about agriculture. We have some similarities with what the Hutterites have gone through. Agriculture is a small group, as your group is, largely misunderstood, as mm -hmm. your group mm -hmm. has been. Uh, tell me about um, what, what is the lesson learned from being small and being misunderstood about the importance of communicating? Should we do it? Should we not do it? What's your feeling? About that? I think it's extremely important to communicate and I think that unless you get your message out, whether you're the farming community or the uh, Hutterite community, if you don't communicate who you are, you will be represented by misperceptions and that's the danger. So you wrote a book, I Am Hutterite. Why did you write that? I wrote the book especially because I was tired of the misperceptions that people had about Hutterites. Because when uh, my family left the Hutterite colony when I was a 10-year-old girl, uh, that's the thing that was the most shocking to me, is that my culture had no value in mainstream society. People's misperceptions about Hutterites were so extreme and so false that I grew to feel very ashamed of being Hutterite, even though as a young 10-year-old girl, I'd loved my life and felt very privileged and still do today of having grown up that way. So over time, I simply stopped uh, admitting that I was Hutterite. And it wasn't until I grew older that I realized that I'm not ashamed to be Hutterite. I'm wounded by m people's misperceptions about it. And that's what got me thinking that perhaps I had the power to set the record straight because in our 145 year history in North America, nobody had ever told our story. So what has been the response when you encourage people to speak up? I'm assuming there's certain reluctance there. Oh yeah, there is, there is reluctance. I think that some Hutterites feel that they are not articulate enough to express themselves. But certainly we have many, many good men and women in Hutterite communities that would do a superb job of uh, expressing themselves. I mean, the more um, advanced or the liberal sect of the Hutterite colony, the Schmiedenleit now have a yeah. website. And, but the moderates here in Saskatchewan and in Alberta, the Orthodox Hutterites are still um, uh, not as willing to be as open, but I hope that in time they will be, especially now with the advent of the computer age and, uh, you know, communication is the way to go. So I may have asked this question already, but in the end, what is the lesson that you take from all of these experiences, all of how your perception was formed largely by misinformation and keeping quiet? The lesson I learned is that um, I think for me, I was really so humbled by the way that ordinary people were able to embrace my story when I set the record straight. Well, thank you. Very uh, interesting discussion. Thanks for speaking with us. Thank you so much for having me.